In this video, you will learn how to use the Team Shares feature for administrators. First, find your way to the Shares tab at the top portion of the dashboard. As you can see, I already have some shares created, but let's walk through the process of how this is accomplished. Click New Team Share. Give your share a root name. Choose which organization this share should be a part of. And give your share a description. Check the users that you would like to add to this share. Now, you may notice a plus sign to the left of the user's name. This will bring a list of options up, and you can choose where this user is allowed to access their share from. If web is checked, that means this user can only access his team share from the web. Or vice versa. If his machine is checked, he is only allowed to access this share from his device. When future machines is checked, he'll be able to access his shares from any device he installs the agent or app on. Once you hit save, it will then create that share and redirect you to the shares page. It's gonna list all of your shares and you can browse a share, manage team share subscribers, edit a team share, or deactivate a team share. When I click browse, it will then list all the files within my share. If I hit manage team share subscribers, I can add or remove users. When I edit a team share, I can switch which organization it should be a part of and add or edit a description. When I deactivate a team share, it's gonna give me two options. I can either keep the files on a user's machine or I can remove files from a user's machine. Once you hit remove, it will then remove that share from your shares page and you will no longer be able to access it. If you're onboarding users using Active Directory, you can easily add those users to a team share. Just make your way to the settings tab, go to authentication, import users from an authentication source, choose your authentication source, and then scroll to the bottom of the page. Your Active Directory server will show up, then find the users you would like to add. Check the users, and then scroll back up and choose which share they should be a part of. Once you hit import selected users, it will then create accounts for those users and automatically add their share to their account. This can also be done when you create an account manually. Go to the Accounts tab, hit Create Account, type in all the fields, and then choose which share this user should be a part of. Once you hit Save, it will then create that account and automatically add that share. Thank you for watching. This concludes creating a team share as an administrator.